Right, I'm Isabel Ron. I've been coming to youth group since about seventh grade. My name is Moses Sabel. I've been attending youth group since seventh grade. My name is Emma Schmidler, and I've been attending youth group for six years now. My name is Luke Rundo. I've been in youth group since freshman year. My name is Ashley Unruh. I have been attending youth group for the past six years. My name is Isabel Buer. I have been attending youth group since seventh grade. My name is Jacob Rice. I've been attending youth group for five years. I'm Joshua Worth, and I've been attending youth group for the past six years now since seventh grade. I am Marcella Senti. I've been attending youth group since 7th grade. I'm Megan Gluen. I've been attending this youth group since 7th grade. My name is Hope Miller. I have been attending youth group since the 7th grade. It would definitely be uh, quizzing in, like, on the way to the quiz meets in the car rides. We would just play games, like card games and mafia, and, like, those experiences have just been so fun and memorable. Those are, like, my favorite things that I've done for high school. Probably the trip to Miami. Um, that, that was really cool, meeting all the people and being able to serve. When Pastor Brown showed up in his elf onesie for the first time, I nearly lost my mind because I wasn't ready. No one was, but it was fantastic. One thing I'll remember forever is when we went to Challenge. It was really fun. We had a lot of good memories there. I think my the memory that I remember is districts. I think districts. My first year going to districts um, in eighth grade was my first year, and the pastor Chris Brown he said it was uh, talking about the Transfiguration, and Megan and I still reference this like today, like this the moment when he was saying this, and he was like, and then Jesus shined like the whitest bleach, and that's like that moment is probably what I'll remember forever. <laughs> I don't know enough about basketball. <laughs> well, I'm not a big professional basketball person. I don't follow sports. I don't know. I don't like sports. I don't watch them. I barely played them. I don't watch sports. I don't play sports. I don't watch basketball. So I don't really care. <laughs> what if I don't know anything about basketball? <laughs> I don't watch basketball. I don't watch basketball. <laughs> like, I know who those people are. Well, I know which one you want me to answer, but... I'm gonna just say LeBron James just because of the meme. Oh, uh, I would say Michael Jordan. Le LeBron James, then. <laughs> I would have to say Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. He revitalized the entire sport. He went to baseball, and then basketball was trash, and then he came back and now it's a multi-million, maybe billion dollar industry, so yeah. LeBron James. I just like what he does more. Michael Jordan. Is that what everybody else said? <laughs> I had a cat named after him. You're not gonna like my answer. <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> my dad told me to say Michael Jordan <laughs> because he is the best, so. <laughs> seeing Mo and Luke every week and just hanging out because I was like the one solace in high school. It was kind of like me time, I guess, because everything else was just super busy. I loved having a place that I could come to in the middle of the week um, and just like in the middle of a school week where I was overloaded with homework and extracurriculars and it was always so comfortable to be here and to have friends that I could talk to and review things that I was thinking or um, just stuff that had happened in the week and have such a wonderful, friendly environment to just be in and relax. And it always seemed like whatever message was being told that week in some way applied to something that was either like burdening my mind or just something that I had been experiencing. Um, and it was just a wonderful place to come be in the presence of other people. My favorite part about youth group is just hanging out with friends and having them as company. I think the small groups were probably my favorite part. Really got into God's Word more. Definitely just being able to come together with a bunch of friends and even though it was like a smaller group, you were still able to meet new people and just interact with people you wouldn't normally hang out with. 
I like the small group discussions the best because I feel like that's when I really got to know more people in my small group and I got to know them like really well. It's just like a lot easier to share things when you're in your small group and I really like that. I think my favorite like part like as a general category was hanging out with friends but I think it's like the experiences I got out of it like districts and like all the prayer walks a challenge even though it was hot and I had no food but youth group gave me the opportunity to actually like step outside of my comfort zone and just like get into stuff that I normally wouldn't do. Having a place where I knew that I could really dig into God's word and then open up about it and other people would accept it and open up about their own struggles. I think my favorite part was definitely small group time, but I really clicked with uh, Cassie Mathias that I had last year, and that was just always like fun to have conversations with her. And then we also combined with the uh, senior girls when I was a junior, so it was fun to have like some older girls in the group and get like some different like perspectives and stuff like that. Probably learning how to talk with other people on like theological matters or any matter because it just I don't know spurring conversation on and having conversations is vital to discourse. I went to districts for I think four years and every year that's just such an uplifting time because you're able to be with just thousands of other believers and there's always like good speakers good bands that really um, you're able to feel God's presence in your life in that moment and they really encourage you to carry that into your everyday life, not just keep it at districts. Um, I really liked it when you talked about prayer. That was really helpful for me to like have more of a plan rather than just like asking God for things, but like actually praising Him and then confessing and then like thanking Him for things and then coming with my requests rather than just going, please God help me with this and give me this or things like that. That was really helpful. It's really shown me that I have a lot of support, you know, if I ever have any doubts or any questions, I have a lot of support and it's also shown me that everything happens for a reason. It's really easy to get frustrated with life and I think it's important to know that God does everything for a reason. I think youth group has taught me that the Bible is true and God is real. Well, I think it really has set me on track every week and taught me Put God first in my life. It's taught me how to take lessons from the Bible, to take passages and break them down and really learn what something in the Bible is saying so that I'm not just reading it superficially. Um, I'd say just studying James the past like couple months I think has it been, but just because I, I always need a good reminder to be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to get angry, so that's definitely been something that I'm going to take away and just like always remember that. Take every moment and live in the moment and don't always be looking forward to something that's just out of reach. Organize, organize, organize. It applies to really anything in your life. No matter how busy your school and life schedule is, actively make the time to be able to come to youth group as, as much as you possibly can because even if you have tons of homework that you have to get done. It is an hour and a half, two hours out of your week, out of your day, that lets you be totally reflective of your relationship with God. And it'll help you, I think, be a better person, be better in school, understand yourself better. I think it's so important to take that break and um, to focus solely and completely on God for that amount of time. Definitely don't be afraid to go to the special events that the church has. Your youth group leaders are there for you and they're like, I really loved like my youth group leaders, especially Mary Vorpal. I really liked her as a youth group leader and I, it was, I just loved spending time with her and also with Rachel as well. They're just great people. And my other one is to try Bible cuisine <laughs> because for me that was the best experience of my entire high school career. It's just amazing. You get to meet new people and make really good friends while you're studying the Bible, the Word of God. It's just a really great experience. What advice would I give the students? Oh boy. 
don't treat youth group like a time to just hang out with friends. Um, I did that, especially in the middle school transitioning to high school years. I treated it more as like a hangout time more than I did learning about the gospel. I, if you're going to go to youth group, I would highly encourage you to actually like doing something like taking notes. Like taking notes will help you better, even if not better understand it, like better like absorb what you're learning. So yeah, really try is what I'm saying. Try and learn something. Participate, especially when Pastor Lee asks questions. I hated being the one to answer every single time. <laughs> um, I mean, and he still did it because no one else would, but when someone asks for a volunteer or just, just a question, do it because it's, it's going to help you. Do not take anything for granted. Uh, youth group is a time to have fun, but it's also a time to learn more about Jesus and grow spiritually. Don't be afraid of being friends to the younger students because I remember some like older kids when I was in youth group when I was younger and like just like them being nice to me just like made me want to continue coming back. So I don't think a lot of the time older kids realize how much of an influence they have on younger kids. But especially having my sister being like a couple years younger than me, like seeing that and like her friends and like that's the advice I mean. <laughs> Just be a leader. Enjoy it while it lasts because it goes fast. I think you should save your time as a teenager and not try to you know, grow up really fast. But you also should set your eyes on God and not look back. <laughs>